I am your father. Hey guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. Um, this episode I'm going to show you some of my latest prints which I've done. Some of these were in Go 3D um, PLA and the, um, the main big one, which I'll show you in a second, was printed in Matterhackers PLA. Okay, so the first one here is an astronaut print. Hopefully you can see that. Um, this thing is pretty massive. So have I got anything here to show you for scale? Okay. This thing's huge. Got a time lapse of this one. Let's check it out. So yeah, hopefully you can see the details on this print. Um, it's, this was actually fluorescent yellow PLA from Go3D. And all I've done is I've got a can of um, spray primer for plastic. And I've also then got a can of um, normal spray paint and then given it a spray. And it actually turned out really awesome. So the detail in this is amazing. The quality that's in there the yeah, just like I said the, the detail of this print is just phenomenal um, that is awesome oh the next print that I've got here is the Enterprise this is probably going to shade me out this was printed in Matterhackers uh, advanced PLA and again this was um, this was a huge print done over four four pieces there's about 60 hours of print time in this. It's, it's huge. Um, two rolls of PLA. And uh, once it was finished, I gave it a quick sand and then uh, prime and paint. So this was my first time using Matterhackers PLA and I must say that it is some of the nicest filament that I've printed with to date. Um, it has a, a different texture and feel to normal, well not normal, different PLA. It seems to be very bendy. Okay. So this is the Matterhackers Advanced PLA in uh, grey, 1.75mm. This is just the last that I've got left of the roll printing this massive enterprise. And it is, it's got a weird, well not weird, but a different feel. Um, it seems to be very bendy, rubbery. It just doesn't feel like any PLA I've used before. But it went down super smooth, really nice. And I mean, look at the size of this. Uh, 
Um, I don't think I can even get that all on camera. So this is, um, yeah, four, four pieces, super glued together. And then I've just given it a quick coat of primer and then a quick spray of, it was an antique hammer finish um, spray can, rattle can from the local hardware. So hopefully I'm gonna do something cool with this in an upcoming episode. Um, I'm trying to, well actually no, I won't give it away, I'll keep it as a surprise. But there you go. Uh, I just wanna say thanks again to Matter Hackers for sending me some of your PLA to review. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any smaller prints to show you of any intricates, but um, I mean, this thing speaks for itself. The quality on this is phenomenal. It came out beautiful, it printed beautiful, it went down just like, I was gonna say like butter, but everyone says that. Um, went down like melted chocolate. Smoothie, smooth, velvety, with a silver finish. Um, yeah, no, it, in all seriousness, it's very good PLA. I highly recommend you give it a go. Link will be in the description. And that wraps up this episode. Um, coming up in the next episode, I am going to do a new segment called Mailbag. Hopefully you stick around for that. And uh, I'd like to thank you to all my patrons for chipping in, chipping in a dollar or more sometimes. Um, actually, one of them is quite a bit more than that. Um, that goes to support the channel and we really appreciate it here. Uh, I've got Amazon affiliate associate links down below. Um, that means if you just do your shopping as normal, they just chuck a couple of dollars my way. Um, and that, yeah, helps towards buying new equipment, tech to make this content cool and to get new goodies in to review and play with for you guys. Thanks guys. See you on the next video. Ciao.